Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Skylum, and I want to talk about their amazing software, Luminar Neo, which I think right now is one of the best options out there for anybody who wants to step away from Lightroom and the whole Adobe ecosystem and say goodbye to monthly subscriptions. So what is Luminar Neo? Well, a lot of people probably already know Luminar and Skylum for their powerful AI tools, which yeah, they are great. But Luminar Neo is also a very powerful photo editing software that covers pretty much all of the essential editing tools that you'd expect from something like Adobe Lightroom. So you've got raw processing, you've got exposure, color adjustments, HSL, even curves. But you also have all of that advanced AI uh, functionality that can really speed up and simplify editing. It's designed to work pretty much as a complete Lightroom replacement. So that's great for anybody who wants to avoid monthly subscriptions, like I said but it also functions as a plugin for anyone who wants to just enhance their existing workflow and just take advantage of those incredible AI tools. And right now is actually probably the best time to check it out because Skylum has just announced their big fall upgrade. So that means that Luminar Neo is becoming basically a full cross device ecosystem. So you can start editing on their mobile app, which I love and pick up where you left off on your desktop. So you can also take advantage of all kinds of new AI features that they're going to be rolling out in the future. So the whole ecosystem is more flexible and powerful than ever. So although this video is sponsored by Skylum, I have actually been using their software for years. I first bought Luminar AI all the way back in January 2021. And the reason I've stuck with it for so long and used it alongside other programs like Lightroom and Photoshop is that I think there are a couple of things that Luminar Neo does better than any other software that I've tried so far. So I'm gonna share those features with you, the ones that I've relied on for years, along with just some of my other personal favorites in this awesome software. And we'll get to that in just a little bit, but first of all, let's just take a look around Luminar Neo. But before we get into the more exciting advanced AI tools, I just wanna show you the essentials because Luminar Neo um, actually gives you most of the same editing controls that you're going to find in a program like Lightroom. So yep, yeah, you can just import a raw file and start with all of the basics from things like exposure, you know, highlights and shadows, whites, blacks, contrasts, everything that you would expect. You've also got curves, you've got white balance adjustments, of course, vibrance and saturation, and even full HSL control, which for me is absolutely essential to be able to really fine tune my colors in my shots, whether it's something like toning down greens in an image or maybe perfecting skin tones. But what really makes Luminar Neo stand out are the AI tools. So you've got even AI masking, which is fantastic. And it basically means instead of having to brush manually, you can select your subject, the sky, plants, mountains, all automatically. And I found this to just be so powerful to just say quickly mask a subject or anything in an image and make quick local adjustments. But I first wanna show you a couple of my absolute favorite tools in Luminar Neo that again, I've used for years all of the time. And these first ones are what I absolutely love using for my YouTube thumbnails and kind of more landscape shots. So the first one is the Accent AI slider. So whenever an image is just maybe looking a little bit flat, this slider just instantly adds contrast, punch and depth to an image. So for me, for thumbnails, where you really need to grab a viewer's attention, the extra pop just makes a huge difference in an image and just really makes it stand out. And most tools in Luminar are just this easy. It's just a simple slider. And the amount of times I'm looking at a thumbnail and thinking it looks a little bit dull and boring, and this just brings it to life. And another one I really, really love is the Sky Enhancer slider. So. It really just intelligently boosts, say, the colors, uh, contrast, and detail in the sky with just one single slider, and it gives you a much more dramatic look to your sky in seconds. And that's really what I love about Luminar Neo is all of these really quick AI-driven adjustments that just make your images look better with very minimal effort. And again, when I need to pump out a thumbnail for a video, honestly, this is my absolute go-to tool. And a lot of my other YouTuber friends actually suggested a lot of these tools to me. And that's why I use them today, because I know that a lot of other guys on YouTube use Luminar for their thumbnails. It's not just for thumbnails, of course, though. This tool I love in pretty much all my shots, whether it's travel, portraits, or whatever, I absolutely love the sun rays tool. So what this does is it basically lets you add in really natural looking sunlight into your photo. And the AI um, algorithm, blends it seamlessly with the scene in the shot. 
So you can move the sun around and choose where you want it to be in the image. You can adjust the warmth, the intensity and the length of the sun rays. Um, so personally, I only really ever use this uh, when the direction of the light in the photo is kind of clear and already obvious. Um, so that way you're really just enhancing the existing sunlight in the image rather than faking it too much. But what is great about Luminar Neo is that it basically automatically adjusts the warmth and the contrast in the scene to make um, the sun rays look as realistic as possible and it makes it just look like it fits right into the shot. So let's explore a couple more of the AI powered features. Now another one that I really really like is the object removal tool which other programs have but in particular for me I absolutely love the power line removal tool. This is such a time saver because usually for me I'd have to move uh, an image over from Lightroom into Photoshop and I'd be kind of carefully uh, brushing or cloning out the distracting power lines but here you just literally click remove power lines and Luminar does it automatically and like you can see here this is a pretty complicated shot that I took when I was traveling and I remember when I was taking the shot I was just kind of gutted that the power lines were going right through the shot but Luminar does a pretty great job of removing that from the image if that's something you want to do. But if it does miss a spot or you've got something more specific that you want to get rid of in an image, then you can switch on over to the erase brush, which again, I love this tool. All you've got to do is just paint over the object that you want to get rid of or any kind of like distracting elements and it's gone easily in seconds. And it's just such a quick way to clean up a shot. And honestly, for me, I think that this tool works better than any of Adobe's equivalent tools in Lightroom at least. Probably the tool Luminar Neo is most famous for is its sky replacement tools. Um, and it's incredibly easy to use. So you just basically, in a shot, you can just pick a sky, any sky you want, and you have a whole load to choose from. And the software instantly blends it into your image. There's all kinds of parameters that you can uh, control to make it look more realistic. And it, even when you just choose a sky, adjust the overall lighting and the color and temperature so it looks as natural as possible. Now, I'll be honest, this is not something that I use in my own photography, but I can definitely see situations where this uh, tool is gonna be a lifesaver. So, you know, I travel a lot and you often sh uh, shoot amazing places that you can't go back to and reshoot if the weather didn't give you the sky you wanted. Or there could be a situation where you're working with a client and they really want a clear blue sky, but the conditions on the day just didn't uh, deliver that. So in those moments, being able to swap in a sky quickly and make the photo look like it was shot in perfect light can be really useful. And I appreciate the, just how powerful this tool is, even if it's not something that I really use. But one thing that I do use all the time, and I genuinely mean years, I have used the portrait tools in Luminar Neo. And I don't really hear this talked about a lot, but Luminar Neo has some very solid portrait tools. So let me show a couple of the ones that I've been using for years. And my go-to one is on the Face AI, and it is the Eye Enhancement Slider, and especially the Iris Flare tool. So say if you shot a portrait in the shade, or you just wanna add a little bit more life into somebody's eyes, uh, maybe there's not a catch light, um, then this tool does a fantastic job. I use it all of the time with my portraits and it just instantly makes the subject pop. And there's a whole load of functionality here. I mean, you can even completely change the iris uh, color if you want and it does look pretty realistic. Again, it's not something that I've really done often at all, but it does look very cool. Um, and you can also make subtle adjustments to things like lips or saturation and color and things like that. You can remove dark circles under the eyes, which I use um, Luminar for all the time. And these are just the little touches that I find myself using constantly. And they really give portraits that extra bit of polish without looking overdone. And again, it's all just so easy and quick to use. But like I said, if you are somebody who already has an established workflow in Lightroom or Photoshop, like me, to be honest, I kind of feel stuck in that ecosystem. Luminar Neo can still fit right in because it actually still works as a plugin. So like me, you can keep all of the same cataloging and maybe editing workflow that you're used to in another program, but still take advantage of Luminar AI's powerful AI tools whenever you need them. So that's often what I do for my portraits, maybe start in Lightroom and finish off in Luminar. And all you do is just right click in Lightroom and click send to Luminar, make your edits. And when it's done, it saves right back into your uh, Lightroom catalog. So it really is a seamless experience and a great way to speed up your workflow 
without really having to change uh, much about your own original process. But yeah, I might actually do a full video at some point showing a complete portrait edit in Lumina Neo because the retouching tools are surprisingly strong and it actually borrows a lot from Apity, which is another program that, that they make that is incredibly powerful for portraits. So if you're like me and you shoot a lot of portraits, it really does give you everything you need from color grading and the overall styling of your image right through to detailed retouching. And in a lot of ways, it can actually replace for a lot of people, I think, both Lightroom and Photoshop in a single package because of that. And on that topic, this is one of the things that I really appreciate about Lumina Neo and is getting pretty rare these days. So with Adobe, you need monthly subscriptions just to access Lightroom and Photoshop. But with Lumina Neo, you are getting many of those same benefits of both those programs in a single package. And the best part is that you can buy a perpetual license, you know, with a one-time payment and you own the software. So that's exactly what I did all the way back in 2021. And I'm still using the software and I've had updates ever since. So it's a great option if you don't like being locked into monthly payments. And right now you can pick up a perpetual license, so you own it, of Lumina Neo for £99, which is probably less than the cost of a single year of Lightroom. Or for £129, you can get a perpetual license that also includes Lumina Mobile. So you've got the full cross device experience, but either way, it is a one-off payment and it gives you long-term access without being stuck in any kind of subscription. But of course, that's just the pricing right now as of uh, posting this video. So if you are interested in Lumina Neo, there's really no better time to check it out. So you can try the free trial or you can grab a license using the link in the description and Skylum have been kind enough to give me a discount code. So you can get 10% off with the discount code JR10. So yeah, with the fall upgrade rolling out, it's only getting better. So Luminar is now becoming a full cross device ecosystem with even more powerful AI tools to speed up your editing, whether you're on a desktop, a laptop, mobile, tablet, or anything. So huge thanks to Skylum for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time.